Richard Additive Manufacturing is getting very popular in the UK now. What's different about your machine? I think until now, additive manufacturers were very good at making small and detailed parts. But if we're going to industrialise things and get things bigger, then a different concept may be needed. And DMG Mori is of the belief that this laser deposition welding is the way to go forward. OK, so what, what, what are the features and benefits of the machine? Can we use the similar materials? Uh, yeah, you can fill the machines with two different materials. You can alternate between those two materials. It's also good because you can actually build on existing parts as well. So that's what, what we're good at with milling and turning. We can take those components, put them on this machine, uh, add material to it, machine them directly. That's what this, this philosophy is about. And obviously it's based on the very popular, well-sold five-axis machining centre, so we've got full five-axis capability as well. Exactly right. I mean, everything you see on the left-hand side of the machine is standard five-axis simultaneous machine, so basically all the options you're used to on a standard five-axis milling machine you can get on this machine as well, including coolant as well, using coolant as well. The right-hand side of the machine is in everything to do with our laser deposition welding head, and uh, that's where we put it, hide it away, when we're doing milling. Okay, and this is the UK premier of the machine. Who typically would buy this machine? Well, we're here because we want to try and attract customers. Uh, we're looking to in several markets, prototyping, small series manufacture, depending on the materials of it, you know, um, ink canals, uh, stainless steels, food processing equipment, oil and gas industries, that's pretty much a focus of it. And the, but the machine also do other things like coatings of components, a repair of other components, perhaps in the mold and dye sector. Um, interesting for the mold and dye sector also is the ability to do internal cooling channels as well within the material. Okay, so what we're saying is we're not here to eliminate milling, we're here to assist milling. It's an additional process, you know, just as you, we got milling, turning and spark erosion and grinding, this is an additional process uh, because it, not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily make sense to actually build complete components, you know, uh, we need to have a machine that can add on when needed. So when is the first one coming into the UK? Uh, the first one's coming to the UK around June, July time. It's going to be installed at the AMRC in Sheffield in their new factory 2050. And yeah, we're very much looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to working with them together as a research and development partner. It's going to be good to working with them and finding out what the limits and limitations of the materials are and expanding those possibilities all the time, rolling it out to new industries.